hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome 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 i want you to know that we talk about Igbo spirituality and cosmology or dinani this is what we talk about on this channel and if you're a returning subscriber i want to thank you very much for following me for commenting and even those that reach out to me i want to appreciate every one of you so you know the uh, usual uh, gist i come up to this channel to discuss some things about ordinary i talk about things that i think is going to be very much helpful for us you know we have a lot of people returning back or migrating back to ordinary and i think it's essential that we do the we, we do these things with the right information because if you don't have the right information then you're going to get lost honestly you're going to get lost because there is a lot out there so it's actually one of the reasons why i opened my channel my blog and the rest of it and i discuss all those things i research about it and i give my findings to my readers and my subscribers so if, you, if you're not yet to subscribe please subscribe and let's discuss about ordinary and for today's topic i'm going to be talking about why you shouldn't help everybody you meet now this topic is very essential now it has destroyed a lot of souls it has made a lot of people useless and homeless so it's very much important that we talk about it and you know you get to understand the reasons why not everybody you meet you should actually assist financially or otherwise so stay tuned and let's talk about this uh, let's discuss this topic people have this saying asigi eh imemma inonoku imenja inonoku now what this means for my subscribers that are not evil what it actually means is if you do good you're in trouble if you don't do good you're in trouble so obviously when we talk about helping people this is something that every human being should do you shouldn't see somebody in need and you shouldn't tell that person you shouldn't see your neighbor stranded and you wouldn't think okay let me help this person so helping people is what makes us human being and helping people is what makes us who we are it literally makes the world go round but as far as it makes the world go round it has actually put a lot of people in trouble a lot of people went from grace to grass because they rendered help to somebody they just met whether the person is your friend whether the person is just somebody you met on the road some of them have gone from grace to grass because they just helped that person so why would you help somebody and all of a sudden instead of you to reap the benefit of helping that person you're you're being sent back to the village you're regretting your actions you're regretting why you helped this person so i'm going to be talking about all those reasons so that you have to be well equipped and know how to go about because nature has a lot of loopholes as an ordinary adherent i've actually seen that there is always a way that we do things even when we look at those and say okay this thing is actually impossible there is still how we can actually do it and it's going to work in our favor so i'm still going to talk about all those things the, the way around the, the loophole so helping people is actually part of us as a human being if you don't help people they look at you as a um, some sort of sadist or they even look at you as an onion wego they will say okay eh, maybe in his cult you know this occult group they've told him not to help people they've told him not to help his family member or he's using somebody else's destiny and that's why he cannot help that person because it's going to be against the rules so when you don't help people in our society there is a lot of things people are going to say they're going to look at you as you know some kind of ritualist and you know whatever reason they have in them but they're going to still talk but if I see our people also say Uncocha, Aborojo, when you're looking out for yourself, it's not that you are afraid, but you know that there is a reason why you cannot help people. So I'm going to start this thing with a story. Um, earlier back, I was going to Omunze with a friend. The our intention was to book a research. We wanted to talk to a Dibia there in Zechuku Kadibia. Wanted to talk with a man, and in case of course, when um, we, we, we discuss, we share thoughts, we share ideas. So we're talking, and you know, he, he told me, shared a story with me about a friend of his that you know, he said that he had a dream where another friend of theirs fell sick. And prior before that, they were all friends, but prior before then, you know, the man was not really well to do, but just came back suddenly and he's wealthy. 
so as he was you know enjoying his world so in within the, that period of time he had a dream and in those dreams he was instructed by some entity that he should not help this guy when the time comes so he just said he had the dream and he didn't really look at it and you know think that maybe something was going to go wrong so after a while like few months a year who knows so the the guy in question got extremely sick so during that process you know, the other friends were all contributing because this guy was like a, a made man a billionaire and all of a sudden he couldn't even afford his necessary hospital bill you can say that maybe you know when the sickness started that he has used his money to finance you know his uh, food his bill his uh, hospital bills but when this thing now happened you know friends are now contributing trying to help this man trying to help their friend but him he was adamant that he's not going to you know bring money he's not going to help save this man's life so people were like cussing him out telling him why won't you do that it's not as if you don't have that money why won't you, you know contribute so he, he confided with my friend t he now said that he had a dream once upon a time where he was warned not to help this guy whenever he's in need and his spirit the way he's feeling about the whole situation he's not going to help and it's good thing that he didn't actually help because the guys or the friends that actually helped and brought money all of them got into one form of problem or the other he was the only person that was spared so you see this is because he helped this person and all of a sudden things turned around for him so this comes to us talking about karma and the karmic debts now what is karmic debts we call it ugonyo waji now once a person die or a reincarnating spirit is coming back whatever or his or her accumulated karma in his previous life is also following him in this current reincarnation so whatever kind of life however kind of life he lived there is still some reserved karma now if what the kind of karma he accumulated in his previous reincarnation is actually a good one then in his next reincarnation he's going to you know reap the kind of a goodwill kind of karma but if the karma he accumulated in his previous reincarnation is a karma that is not good a bad karma then in his pre now current reincarnation he's going to reap the fruits of that kind of a karma that he reserved for himself so I'm going to be talking about the causes of these kinds of karma. Now the first one on my list is karma as a result of degrading or disrespecting an ancestral altar. You know, we, we live in a in a world where you know well where it's a, the where it's Christian dominated, you know, colonization. So a lot of as our ancestral practices has been destroyed, a lot of our spiritual practices has been you know demonized. Now somebody could grow up in a Christian home and look at what his ancestors kept, the offer, the open war, the um allocy that they in the instituted because they wanted to help perform a function for them in that in that their community or in their lineage, they will decide or the individual will decide this thing I don't want it to be there because I'm a Christian. Now this kind of person will now invite pastors, reverends to come and uproot their ancestral altar or to even burn their ancestral offer or often the chi. so when these kinds of things happen and this person dies maybe maybe the person you know the the person lives for a particular amount of age and the person dies now coming back this person is coming in with a karma now that karma the person is coming could literally put or keep that person i think that other madonna so you know this karma is going to keep you in a in a in a loop of suffering in a loop of poverty now whatever not just about wealth and poverty now it could be because it could be sickness it could leave the person blinded it could leave the person deaf or dumb but okay this so nyahana or dindo on karma that's the kind of karma that person is going to read now you as an individual you're living your life and you feel you see this kind of person and you said okay let me help this kind of person now you going to go and help this person is just like in Amaha Kaniru. You're trying to tell them that you're trying to tell the ancestral spirit of that individual who is suffering or who is being punished because of what he did in his previous reincarnation. So when you come to come and help that person, they're going to perceive it as an insult. They're going to perceive it as you being or putting yourself in something that doesn't concern you. So once you kind of uh, come and give monetary aid what kind of uh, evil food they are going to attack you and they're going to see it as an insult so once they see it as an insult 
you become or you just kind of uh, put yourself into uh, if you use your hand to invite trouble where you don't even know where it's coming from so it's essential that these kinds of people now once you no know, to them now once they've noticed or once their family member notice that this is what is happening and know the cause which it's only through alpha that they're going to understand or find out why this thing is happening then they can actually make you know actions try to help or salvage that situation but for you as the you know as a, as a passerby, as an individual who don't even have any lineage or any inclination or any link with this kind of people and you decide to help, it's going to basically come against you. Now, the second one or the second causes of a karmic death is the use of privileged position, the unlawful use of privileged privileged positions. Now, this, this is talking to the wealthy. You know the affluent men, the jago, the neko, these kinds of people. They are as only one. I'm don't tell me nonsense. Don't tell me anything. After I will use my wealth. I'm going to use my money to dominate. I'm going to use my money to get whatever I want to get without thinking about how it's affecting the next person. So these kinds of individuals they're accumulating their own karma, and their own karma will definitely manifest in their next reincarnation and some of these karmas are going to manifest in the current reincarnation so in situations like this we call this when you when you intimidate or discriminate against the poor there is a karma that you are accumulating a very dangerous karma which in your next reincarnation because because once people don't understand that the money or the wealth that you have is not supposed to be used by just you and your immediate family it's supposed to be used for the betterment of the society that's why it's not everybody that is rich in the society because if everybody is rich in the society who would not be the person that's going to be doing the menial jobs so the, the society or nature has sanctioned it that some people are going to be rich some people are going to be poor but what matters is how do you use that position that you've been given it matters a lot now when you decide to use your position to basically maltreat some other person now of course nature is going to reserve karma for you because whatever thing, okay, the christians are going to interpret it as if you're doing something good you're working towards getting the kingdom of heaven now look at it now in a in an african traditional sense once you're accumulating this dangerous karma it means you're not going to go into heaven you're going to go into hell and hell there to us now becomes a reincarnation where you come back to this world to reap the fruit of whatever you've done in your previous one now the third cause i'm going to talk about here is the ill treatment of animal animal cruelty now the white man or you know they've done some some um, studies where they said that children who maltreat or or, my, um, or kill or mutilate animals are more likely to be sociopaths and psychopaths now in in an african sense what does this have to do with karma i'm going to set out tell a story to ex use a story to explain it i went to agone chibi in one of my interviews and he told us a story about a boy that uh, that derived some sort of joy mutilating animals birds he would use something to blind them, use something to, you know, to use sticks to blind them. Now, when he has, he has gotten to the age where he now have his own family and Kama came knocking because all his children were born blind. Now, he started to move from one prayer house or one Dibia's house to another. And they were telling him, it's your mother. Your mother is the cause of your problem. So the mother being the kind of person that is aware of what this guy did in his teenage or his earlier developmental years, he, she told him that I'm not the cause of your problem. You're reaping the fruit of what you did because when you were doing it, I was warning you, I was telling you to desist, but you insisted it was fun. Now this is your own karma fighting you. So tomorrow now somebody might just see the children or see the man and decide to help. And that help, instead of that help manifesting as something that is good, is going to manifest as something that is going to fight against you. Now, the, the, the fourth reason or the fourth cause of karmic death is human sacrifice. So already, we believe in the usage of blood to activate power points. Like, for instance, if you go to a Libya's house and you want to institute your chi, your awu. Now, there is, they use their, I think they will use uriomo koko. 
a cheek to basically activate that PowerPoint, to activate that OPC, OPC Agu, OPC Chi, OPC Ikenga, OPC Ezumezu, whatever it is. We use an animal blood to activate it. Now, an animal blood is potent, but it's not as potent as the human blood. Therefore, you see people using human beings to activate whatever PowerPoint they want to activate. Now, sometimes they, not even sometimes, most times they use it for activation of their Arabinago. Because they want their Arabinago to be more effective, to be in, to go against nature's will and dictate, they decide to use a human blood to do something like this. Now, sometimes they will now come and tell you that sometimes when the, when the issue or the problem has materialized, we literally call it uh, open water. So, because sometimes they will use the, the woman in their family, the female in their family, to basically activate those kinds of PowerPoint. So there is a karma that is going to be reserved for them. Now, the, the woman or the person that they use for that kind of sacrifice would decide to be an organje, would decide to be a malevolent spirit to the family. Because we look at our ancestors as people that are there to intercede for us. But once they were used against their will, they turn out to be uh, malevolent spirits. Now, this kind of spirits now, or vengeful spirit, too, are saying that on a one than a the woman would go and run into a deity for protection and vengeance. Now, the deity would now come into that family and start destroying that family. Now, most of the time, how we know that something like this has, has occurred or is disturbing the family is when the family starts suffering from child or gender mortality or when the, the men in the family are not successful, they're not moving forward, they're they are one place, they're stagnant. Now, this is when we know, okay, there is actually a problem. It's their own karma. Now, on no account would you help somebody like that that's come from that family. This is why when we look at sex, and we look at sex as something that is not just uh, the physical contact, because it has some spiritual consequences. You now that is actually touching a woman that's coming from that kind of family could even reap from her own karma. So that's why it is important for us as an individual. Now the fifth reason, which is the final cause of a, you know, cause of a karmic death is you know, the influence of other ancestral spirits. Now this spirit could become Awu. It could mean Alice. It could mean spiritual spouse, Dimiri and the rest. It could mean Ndiche. Now in this kind of situation, especially Awu, I say that Awu na ma madu, Awu na ma madu. When an Awu is disturbing a person, an individual, it's an inclination for the family to do or perform one form of ritual over the other. Now the rituals that are always associated with Awu is when we talk about Ero Awu or Ekurema Awu or Ida Awu. So once an individual is being disturbed by Awu. It's a, it's, an, it's a sign for the individual to look at ways how he or she would basically appease and be in a alignment with Agu. The same goes with other entities, Alice, the media, and the rest of it. So once you don't do something like this, or once you keep on being adamant, Agu or this spirit will keep disturbing, we keep perturbing, keep destroying, keep you know afflicting this person with different kinds of misfortune. And until that person acknowledges Awu, the person will start living a progressive life. That's why when you come and start helping this kind of person, it would look as an insult to the spirits that are troubling this person. To them, you're trying to, you know, put hand in what doesn't concern you. And once you succeed in helping such an individual and elevating this individual, what is going to happen here is that this individual will no longer do the right thing will no longer do what he or she is supposed to do therefore i will see it as you stopping that person's cosmic purpose or trying to trump whatever they are you know what they've scheduled that's going to happen to that person so how can you actually help somebody without reaping or benefiting in this person's karma personally i only like to help children i only like to help children that does not mean this kind of the, uh, this kind of this child will not have his or her karmic debt. But as a child, it's perceived that they have not really gotten to that age where they can speak or where they can, you know, in, try to find what is happening to them and help themselves. 
So the spirits can basically ignore you when you're trying to help this child. And not helping the child through the parents. Helping the child directly. When I say helping children, I mean when you look at all these children that are out there begging. These are the kind of people I give money to, but not their parents. Now, if this kind of person, if you desperately want to help an individual, if you really, really want to help somebody, how you're going to do it is that you don't do it like you're, you're, you're having a direct contact with this person. What you will do is try to find like some sort of an exchange with the individual. If it's a woman or if it's a man that you want to help, sell something to that person. Let that person give you something that is worthless while you give that person the funds or the assistance that you want to give to that person. So guys, um, this is going to be the end of this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, no, don't forget, I also have a written article on why you shouldn't help everybody you see on my blog. So I'm going to leave the link or it's www.iboshrine.com. So you can try to visit my blog and read up on this article i just wanted to just you know just talk about it it's, i didn't really prepare so guys um hope you learned one or two things from my video and until next time yeah guys yeah.